You scared me. Well, anyways, today we're gonna be going over the top craziest braces videos I could find online. Let's go react. Okay, wait, here's a life hack that I've never said in a YouTube video before, so <laughs> TikTok yes. treat. Two weeks before you get your braces off, brush your teeth with Listerine mouthwash. Hold up, this is wrong. Wrong information, okay? This girl probably does not have her PhD or master's degree in orthodontics. If you go to get your braces off two weeks beforehand, it ain't gonna help nothing, okay? Like, like have it in your mouth like a, a and you won't have those squares that you get on your teeth when you get your braces off. Little white marks on your teeth are caused by you not brushing your teeth. You think two weeks before your braces, all you gotta do is swish around with some Listerine. Wrong. So a lot of you guys always ask me, what happens when I get my braces off, Ventus? Well, let's go into a little step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, so first, he's popping them off. Clippity-clop, pop, pop, pop. Got some nasty glue on there. So what he's doing, he's taking a little bit of a burr and cleaning that off. Now, that's a special burr. He used a fine one, now he's using a little rougher one, and now he's flattening off the teeth to make them look good. We call that Hollywood, baby. My retainers broke, so I ordered a kit online to make my own. Ooh, we got some of them at-home retainers, okay. I'll tell you what, the trays actually look pretty much like our trays. You got an iPad, you don't need an iPad. That thing has been running for like 25 million years. Okay, you got the little mixy pieces, you put them together, you gotta rub them, but you only have like 30 seconds to get that mold done in time. After six minutes, I thought oh it got she gonna stuck. She's going to rip her teeth right out of her face. You know, one little pop. So I was freaking out for a second, but the mold looked great, so now it was time to move on to the top. Okay, second one. She's not going to let that one get away. Good. She rinses it out. They actually look like she did a pretty good job. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so what are my thoughts on at-home retainers? At-home retainers can be good if you can't get into an orthodontist. Now, if you can get into an orthodontist, you probably need to be going in there and having them do it for you because you can mess up a lot of things. Like the mold could be off. and it's, 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 Trust me, go to the dentist one but if you can't make it you're in the middle of quarantine still i don't know why you would still be in quarantine but if you are you can do an at-home retainer thing if you have to wait what what oh god she just, she just ripped her teeth right off that's a nail file no you don't do that oh my god okay first off you're gonna get a little bit close i'm surprised you didn't go so far that some blood just don't don't do this you're literally taking your enamel off forever you're never getting it back fun fact we do this in orthodontics it's called enameloplasty which means taking off your teeth and especially not with a nasty nail file you don't know who been filing their nails with that what if grandma been getting her bunions with that and you're putting it on your teeth you know how when you get to your orthodontist and they take you back to the chair well this one was a little bit interesting let's check it out okay we open in the door okay great yeah you know with covid all these restrictions you got to take the temperature you gotta make sure the temperature is good. You got the little glass shields there, everything like that. You gotta get that hand sanny, get that hand sanny. Where are you going, Usain Bolt? Get back here. She's taking off. Just gonna go this way. Okay, it's a two-story orthodontics office. Bougie. Okay. Wait, hold up. Did she just run through a lifetime fitness? Sweet Jesus, this is an expensive orthodontics office. Okay, now she's going into the depths of despair here, some basement. Looks like you could kidnap somebody and hide him down there. Okay, hard left, door. Now we're in an office space. Okay, she's getting the full tour here. She ain't just going to the office. She's getting the full tour. I'm getting your feet. <laughs> how, are you, how are you not Yo, props to her for running this far because I would be tired. I would be going <laughs> if I was running this much. I'll tell you what. And we made it to the chair. Welcome to your appointment. If you don't wear your rubber bands, this is what's going to happen to you. Um, hi, if your orthodontist tells you to wear your rubber bands, just do it, please. Or else you will get springs put on. Springs are no fun. Think of it like this. You got a little torture device in your mouth, little big old metal thing, pow pow, sticking on both sides. All you could do is wear a super little simple rubber band, or you could be, I don't know, looking like Frankenstein with some metal pieces hanging out your mouth. Who you want to be? It's a Mickey Mouse. That's straight up Mickey Mouse, as an O-tie, over your bracket. That's a Mickey Mouse. Next thing you know, I'm gonna get a goofy one. I want a diamond one. I want to stay to Texas, because I live in Texas. I will say, though, this might be taking it a little bit too far, you know, but I digress. Okay, we're doing some rubber bands, the overbite, okay? So this is called a class two rubber band. Goes from down here to down here. Every time you open up, it'll pull it back. Underbite, exact opposite. It'll go from down below. Pull that back every time you open your mouth. That's cool. If you ever forget what you want, open bite, vertical, pulling them together. Easy. Cross bite. You got to go from end to out, inside to outside. Because every time you open, it'll switch it. Look at that. Bow. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, 
my God, that's like the it's like the 101 elastics guide for you. Everybody, everybody that has braces should have this little 10 second video. Keep it in a little pocket. Maybe turn it in into an NFT. I don't know if you guys have seen any NFT stuff, but regardless, I'll sell it to you for a million dollars, okay? <laughs> So this next one is interesting because not only do humans get braces, but sometimes it's the doggy that's causing the problems too. Why aren't you wearing your retainer? We got you braces for four years and your teeth are messed up again because you didn't wear your retainer. Puma, I am so <laughs> mad at you. Oh God. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure that dog has what we call a tongue thrust. You see that tongue just hanging out there and those teeth going. <laughs> Well, that's what happens in humans too. Your teeth just go crazy like that if your tongue is out. Your tongue is very, very strong. And the fun fact is, it's actually, yes, we do do braces on animals. Now we all know getting your braces is a special thing and sometimes you want to show it off, but you got to be a little bit, you know, chill. But you know what you want to be? You don't want to, you want to act cool. You want to act cool, okay? You want to act cool. Point of view, you sit next to the girl who just got braces. She wants everybody to know what else. Why am I covering my mouth? I. No reason. No reason. <laughs> yeah, the, the mini. And don't look at me. I definitely do not have a reason. Oh my god, don't look at me. Why? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Just don't. Ow, my jaw. My jaw hurts so bad. Ow. Ow. Why? I don't know. It's, it's nothing. That is the absolute worst. You're in class and, you know, Cindy's next to you and you're trying to do your math homework and you just hear... Cindy, Jill, we know you got braces. You don't have to play with them all the time. Come on. Do I, did I get braces? Oh my God, stop. They're so ugly. They, they're literally so ugly. Stop. Stop. They're so ugly. That's what they always say, but then they love it. Like, stop. Like, it's not even like, it's not <laughs> that even that big so deal. true. Like, I literally see this all the time. I see people doing this all the time. It's so funny because they, they do that initially and then it's like, everybody, they love their braces, man. It's just colors everywhere and they're showing them off and they want 15 different colors. I love it. Okay, your breath be like. It's gonna be the coldest one yet. First off, how is your mouth not hurting in pain? Listerine breath strips. Yeah, uh huh. Okay, he is strong. Nice gum. Altoids. The man is on a mission. I have a glycerine breast spray. The whole. My man is turning into Mr. Freeze as we speak. <gasps> no. Oh, Sprite. God. My oh, my teeth. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't know. I can take one mint and take a drink. You know when you're in school and you got the water fountains and you had some minty gum in your mouth and you go and take a drink and it feels like the ice age just happened in your mouth? He probably just had 20 of those right now. How does my man survive? I have mm. retainers check. Ooh. Ooh. Girl, no. Yeah, that's the sound. You hear that sound, that means you did not wear your retainers. And you know what's gonna happen? Your teeth shift. You wonder why your retainer breaks because you're trying to push it down so hard and you can crack it right in half. How about we just wear the retainers and we don't have to crunch them down like that, okay? Yeah. Oh, she's got some stuff yeah. in there, okay. Yeah. You ever seen one of these? These are one of them spike guards, them tongue guards. They actually stop your tongue from coming through, but they are intense. And actually, this other video was of the same girl turning a palate expander. Yeah, this is actually how you turn a palate expander. You have to put a key in, push it all the way back to the back of the throat, and then you would turn it. And that's you have to do that every time. You push it back, pull down, out, in, pull down, out, and it turns it little by little as that stuff expands over and over again. It's crazy. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. Oh, these jaws are sizer balls. Come on, guys. People think that they make you lose fat, but really they just grow your, oh my God, his freaking jaw's huge. That is insane. And that is not a filter. Okay, that's a filter. I know you lying on that one, fam, but still, absolutely insane. I would not suggest using these things. Don't do it. Ooh, how do we put on the rubber bands? Okay, she's got, oh, she's putting on a lot of rubber bands. These are finishing rubber bands. These are ones that go up and down all the way across. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she she looking like the shark off finding Nemo. These are the rubber bands we use at the very end of treatment. These are what we use to get everybody together, get it all put together and finish you up. It looks crazy, but they're not that bad. You saw her, she put them in pretty easily. I mean, it looks like she has like a thousand rubber bands in. She only got like two. Braces colors that make your teeth look white. Let's see if I agree. Navy blue, true. 
black, true, red, true, dark purple, also, true. What do you know? The thing is, is you want something dark to contrast with the light and it brings out the whiteness. Alrighty guys, that's all for today. If you want me to keep reacting, make sure you hit that like button for me and comment down below. Did you find any of this stuff useful? Hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell for your boy because I need it and I love you. I got to pay back all these student loans. Please help me. I love you guys. Bye.